Miraculous Shabalala. I am the producer and actor of the film called Miraculous Weapon, which is a co-production with Cameroon. Uh, I directed by, uh, obviously, Jean-Pierre Begolo. So then I started, um, then I went to uh, National School of the Arts in high school. I studied, I studied drama, uh, and th so theatre drama, uh, and uh, so high school. So I was 16, 17, 18, 19, 16, 17, 18, I was in, in this private school studying to become an actress. And yeah, and then after, then I went to uh, film school. Uh, and then I, after, then I became a, a, a name in South Africa. And then after a while, I, I just got tired and I wanted to become a filmmaker. So I wanted to become a director. And then I went to America to study further on. And then I came back and then I produced my work, direct. Sometimes I'm on stage, sometimes I'm on TV, sometimes I'm in the film, like now. I don't think I'm young anymore, but anyway, it's tough. I think it is difficult. It was easy, you know, it was a natural progression for me. It feels like it was a natural progression. I, I had to find a way to tell my own stories and I had to find because if you wait as an actor you, you tend to wait for other people to give you work and I felt like uh, you were in prison you are held back by the people that uh, that you, you wait for people to give you stuff you wait for somebody to fill your plate as an actor so I felt like I need to be in command I need to get up and f fill my own plate I need to find my own source so I find my way of just really telling my own stories so I had to learn first the craft and understand it and then be able to you know to deliver and also the big roles like I would so much have wanted to play Winnie Mandela but the opportunity was never gonna come to me because I'm the so-called South African actor I'm a nobody so that's why they'd rather go to international people who sometimes I feel don't have I feel like they don't give the characters the justice that I feel that we have because they not, have not walked that path so that's one of the reasons where I thought you know what let me do what I need to do let me produce my work let me find a way so that I can play the characters I want and tell the stories that I want to tell you know the stories that will give respect to the people that I come from the respect to my people you know the, my ancestors and my people from South Africa yeah so it was very interesting I had met Jean-Pierre Belgolo at the Durban Film Festival and it was very interesting uh, connection and I remember him then having to fly back to uh, to Cameroon after the festival and him then saying to me that oh we're gonna go via his the flight is gonna go via Johannesburg I don't know there's something happened there and then I think it didn't go I don't know what happened so he ended up in Johannesburg and I got to meet him and he said I've got this he was like we were talking about Africa the journey of our, of our African journeys and everything and then he said I've got the script that I'd like you to read and I read it and I was like I want to do the script I want to play Lisedi I want to raise the money for it and and that's what I did I remember I, I got the script I read it in just under 30 minutes and I thought this is it I want to be part of it and I said okay I will get you to direct you'll stay as a director whatever and then that's how it went and the whole idea with all this thing is just the fact that Africans should work together. We have gates in Africa. We're locking ourselves in. Like when people believe, oh, I'm South African. I only need to work with South Africa. The film only has to be South African. No. I want to work with all of us. I want us Africans to work together because we are just one. We come from the same land. You know, it's a continent, yes, but it's the same land. It's I am you because you are me and we are all together. And if we as Africans hold each other, can hold each other, the world will just always have nothing but to bow to us. Because I feel that we Africans, we're too separating. We're creating borders. We're like, oh no, I'm only I'm South African. Oh no, I'm only Cameroonian. Oh no, I can only tell uh, Tunisian stories. But no, no, I am. I am so happy. 
I am so happy that my f world first world premiere is happening in my continent. It's not happening only just in South Africa or just in Cameroon. This film is giving us the opportunities as Africans to just realize that we are one. That I am, it's now in Tunisia, in, in the Arab world of Africa, and we're embracing each other, and it's been embraced by everybody. You know, it's been loved by everybody, and that's what is so important to me. It's, it's at home. I feel I'm at home. I landed here, and, I, and then I went to watch the film the first day. I had a bit of problems. Obviously, you know what happened to the projection. But the following day, two days after, it was just amazing, and it felt at home. It has come home, yeah. What I hopefully that we open more doors. We open more doors. We we embrace each other as Africans, and then the world is ready. To, the world has no choice but to embrace us. We are ready, Africans. We are. It's not about the Africa that people know where it's struggle. It's about you know fighting wars and everything. It's about love. It's about let's embrace each other. Let's stay together. Let's just build and tell our stories because we have beautiful stories to share with the world. You're watching Africa 24. I'm Golile Shabalala. I send you love.